I'm in Thornton Heath at a, a great day where residents are celebrating the last couple of months of work about what's good about Thornton Heath and what they can do. And I'm with uh, Rachel Nicholson from uh, NHS Croydon. And I think, Rachel, uh, this is down to you to an extent. I think you helped trigger this. How did that start? Um, I think that uh, myself and a colleague had seen Cormac Russell uh, speak at various conferences and knew quite a lot about the asset-based community development um, approach to working in communities. And we just sort of, it resonated with us and we thought it would be a really good thing to try out in Croydon, particularly in Thornton Heath, because we had a feeling that there would be a lot of activity going on that not many people were aware of. So we managed to um, convince our bosses that to invest a little bit of money and we commissioned Croydon Voluntary Action to pilot this project and it, yeah it's been going really well and they commissioned Cormac to do some training work and then Paul has been working a day a week or so but um, how do you feel about what's come out of it I think it's great and I think it's just the beginning we've this day shows um, sort of part of the process and part of the stories that we've discovered and the people that are working in Thornton Heath that, well that that live in Thornton Heath, they're actually doing projects um, sort of off their own back. So it's just, it's quite exciting. I think this is very much the beginning of the project and be interesting to see how it goes forward in the next few months. I mean, this is the sort of thing that service pr commissioners might be looking at in these hard times where you have to have more of a mix of what people can do for themselves in terms of realising the assets in their community as well as the service, albeit reduced. Yeah, and I think... It, that's true and as commissioners we were aware that quite often communities are just are seen by their deficits and what's not working and I think that this way of working turns that on its head and actually looks within residents and communities to see what people can actually do for themselves and I think it's just that whole thing about what do people care enough enough to act upon themselves is really key because that's probably why these projects will continue whereas if NHS 